Dudes and dudettes of YouTube land, you know who it is. It's Frank with What's the Point EDC. What's going on, everybody? Bow, two thumbs up. Anyway, so how's everybody doing today? So today, bada bing, bada bang. I know you guys are thinking, man, you show this knife a lot. Well, for some of you who know, you know exactly what this knife looks like. Matter of fact, a few of you know exactly what this knife looked like. I know you do. But it doesn't look like this anymore or how you think it was going to look. This was how it once looked. So I dropped this knife on its tip the other day. I reprofiled it myself, so please forgive me if it's not perfect. I haven't went back in to, to level this out all the way, as you can see. Tell me what you guys think. So I took it into Edgeworks Knife and Supply. Um, I actually just did a video of them. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. I, uh, I did a complete walkthrough of the shop. Uh, he, he doesn't have all of his inventory in, but he has a lot. But anyway, so check this out. He put the edge on it. I did the reprofiling myself. I originally tried to make it a Tanto. I don't know why I tried being that. This knife had so much belly. So look, this is what it used to look like. This is messing up the view of the camera for real. Like the coloration, I can see the coloration changing. Okay, can you guys see any difference here? I added a choil in. You see the choil? I added the choil. I dropped the tip down. Y'all see I dropped that tip. That tip is 100% dropping down now. So I gave it a slight drop tip or a clip tip. I don't know. See how it's clipped down? You guys see? I know you see that. Wow, it's clipped down, baby. So obviously I took off a considerable amount of the blade. Um, the reason why I took so much of the blade off was because I was going to tanto it. And after I realized it has too much belly to tanto, I just, I gave up on the idea. What do you guys think? Here, I'm going to give you a close-up. I haven't cleaned the knife off or anything. He sharpened it up for me. Put a, I'm pretty sure it's an excellent edge. I've never had him do a bad edge. So seriously, guys, if you need your knife sharpened, he does knife sharpening. He does everything. Hit him up. I, I, um, I seriously recommend him. But uh, I'll answer any questions anybody has about them Edgeworks. That's what I'm talking about later on any other time. Uh, but we're going to talk about this. So it took me just over four hours to do this. I was so disappointed in myself. See, this knife was a gift. And I like... Gifts really mean something to me. So I was so disappointed in myself that I stayed up for four hours. I was getting ready to do a, a test, like just like a food demonstration. When I had all the food sitting out upstairs, everything was lined up, ready to go. Stands were upstairs, phones, everything. I was ready to rock and roll, guys. But what happened was I grabbed the knife and I had it open sitting right here. I mean, almost directly here grabbed it i don't know how it came i was sitting just like this literally facing this way i grabbed it like this and i was like well i'll just i'll just leave it open and walk up and it just slipped dead out of my hand rookie mistake for real but it's okay guys it's back from the dead as you already see from the thumbnail description video topic title whatever it is youtube demonstration that's what it is you know what it is here it's custom stuff now baby yeah as i knocked the camera did i tell you guys look at the length of this backspacer damn right this is a freaking this is a workhorse i'm i promise you guys this is a workhorse of a knife and you can't tell me it doesn't look better look it's got an actual sharpening toy but it look look at now i know it's up when they're close but look you had the perfect resting point part look i brought this down okay so let's start off here. This was out to here almost, and it was almost down to here. It was significantly longer. Significantly. I took considerable amount off the depth of the blade, so it had good belly. And I really took a little bit off the tip. See, I, I took a considerable amount off that tip. Matter of fact, let, hang on for one second. I want to check something, guys. I'm going to measure. I'm going to see how much I took off the tip. I just want to see what the uh, stats are on this thing. As far as the length of the blade, let's see here, 3.6 inch blade, okay. We're going to see what the length of this blade is now. I am super freaking curious. Under three and a half, total length, insane. 
That's cool. That's funny. It looks better. It fucking does. It looks better. Look, I know you guys can see my little drop point right there now. Oh, I know you can. There ain't nothing straight about that no more. Uh, that that's a Frank with what's the point EDC special baby y'all want your knives customized send it in four hundred dollars a piece I got you all day cash app only <laughs> nah I'm playing around guys you already know I'm actually in a kind of a good mood I got to do my walkthrough video of Edgeworks that has been something I've been wanting to do for so long I've had the opportunity to do it. But there's always been too many people for me to be comfortable videotaping. Because I don't ever want somebody in the middle of the video to look at me and be like, why are you taping? Because then I got to I gotta try to be respectful. And I got to go through the steps of being respectful and explain to them what's going on. And hope that they haven't been across the street or beside the knife shop. Because there's bars everywhere downtown. I mean, there's, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm about to look like Doom's Blanket. I mean, Doom's towel, he don't put a slice in. Now he hides his knives underneath there like it's his little back pocket. It's like his kangaroo pouch. Oh, here comes a Max Ace Vortex. Bow! <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the Rake P105. I think this is P105-B. P105-Q. Sandvik 14C 28M blade steel. G10 scales with a multi-layer scale, as you guys can see. Nice backspacer, nice deep care. You like how I just ramble straight into uh, into the name and specs of this? Did I segue that in good, guys? So this is where you can... Ooh, I got it off-centered. But I, I the off-centering is probably when I dropped it. Now, you guys see how much blade it lost? Go check my other videos out on it. Look, you can see my grinding right there. Now, look, check it out. Check the blade out, guys. I'll wipe it down a little bit real quick. Because I'm oh, wiping it down. Some of y'all know that song. Okay, so I'm not able to wipe it down very good. Okay. Give you guys a close-up. I should have just did this earlier on. Like, I know you guys can see how unfinished it is. It's crooked. You guys can clearly see it's crooked. But I didn't burn the blade edge. Look. I didn't do nothing wrong. Now, when I tell you guys, this blade didn't even get warm to the touch. I legitimately mean that. It did not get warm to the touch. I'm talking, that's why it took me so long. So I got this. Let me show you guys. You guys are going to be like, what? Check this out. I'm going to grab all kind of stuff. If you guys are still with me. Hey, I, I much appreciate you for real. That's the 5,000 watt light bulb I was telling you about. And I actually only had it on 4K. Look at that. That is ungodly. So I don't even know who makes this thing. There you go. If somebody wants one, there you go. Go find it. Bow. Bada bang. Okay. Let me put that up. I need to get paid for this. Hold on now. Don't tell, tell me it ain't the Harbor Freight exclusive. It's the Bayer Bauer. I mean, I call it Bayer. Here you go. This is what I use. Look. The old Bauer. Say it ain't so. Look, here, here's the used wheels. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights on. Sorry about that, guys. I had a flashback. Please excuse me. Um, dang, did I do a pocket check? Pocket check time, guys. I am so sorry. Okay, so what we got here is the SE Azula 1 1095 steel. This The name of this right here, blade uh, color, is going to be called Venom Green. I had the pair wrapped on. I actually have one of the employees at Edgeworks. Seriously, they man, they do everything there. I'm telling you. They got it. They can do it. <laughs> Hit them up, seriously. Here's the sheath. Let me go ahead and insert. Am I inserting right? Bang. I don't want to. Actually, I messed myself up because I already got myself right there with the SE uh, laser strike. Let's see if I can spidey flick it. No, I can't right now. That's okay. Fail on camera. No editations. Best tech Ronin. I mean, best tech men Ronin. OEMs by best tech. 14C 28N. G10 scales. The red and black gets me every time. I forget who I just told that to. Slow roll, baby. It does. It gets me every time. Nice, nice backspace that comes all the way around one piece. 
Okay, I've been switching it up. I'm gonna do this for one week. There's a reason why I'm doing this for one week, and I now I over oil everything. I can see it. You guys can see it too. So VV Odium, D2 blade steel, G10 scales, deep carry pocket clip, nice backspacer. This is a small knife with a lot of backspacer. It is it's actually a very good knife. Simple liner lock, fair and forge design, Civivi produced, excellence. Last but not least on my EDC, Robivon Aurora A2 Gen 3. I told you guys I was going to do a review on this, and I hate to say that I'm going to do a review on something, to be honest, but I'll do it. I'll do it. Kevin, you got it. I'll do it one of these days. <laughs> okay, guys, look. It's been 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever it's going to be after the time I get done saying what I'm going to say. You guys probably already know what I'm going to say, those of you who stick around and you guys are here to the end. And I'm going to say it every time. I think I am, seriously, guys, because it's something that I stand for. So while I'm right here thinking about it, so every Monday, Mattification, or Mattification, um, I'm gonna, I'll put a link to it in the description. Now, me and him really don't know each other personally or anything like that. But I believe in what him and uh, Sharif Manganis, and there's one more guy that they brought on for the first episode or whatever, uh, it's called um, Mental Health Mondays. It's, it's a group of guys that just get together and just talk. You know, we're all knife guys. That's what we have in common is the love of blades. Well, I'm over here trying to left hand do this while watching it in the screen while looking over here. And, oh, man, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, but it's it's called um, Mental Health Mondays. And y'all just stop in. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. So with that right there being said, I'm going to segue this one out of here. <clears throat> My name is Frank with What's the Point EDC. I brought y'all sharp knives, good vibes. Brought y'all a little customization, a little rakeization, a little rakeization, I'm sorry. Some people call it rake, some people call it rook. I am so confused, guys. Let's get the pronunciations down correctly here. It's custom. I'm Frank. This is a good deal. I'm happy with life. I didn't even get charged for the edge. Thank you, Sean. If you ever see this, I really appreciate you, man. To everybody else out there, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. If you're dealing with bad thoughts, reach out and talk to somebody because it does get better. This is not how it ends, but it how it begins. So stay strong. Live long. Peace out, guys. Let's fade to blue and black. Ba-ba-ba-ba.